three. Um, we're uh, at the last unit here. Now we're going to be doing functions and relations in this chapter. Uh, so this chapter has uh, six sections in it, six lessons. Uh, the first one we're going to be doing, is, which is understanding what a relation or function is, and then we need to find that the connection that uh, we could uh, represent by using those functions, for example, in real life, for example. And then we're going to be comparing something called linear and linear functions. Okay, And then later on, we'll do the other sections. So the idea behind it is we start with the first three here, just to introduce what's a relation, what's a function. Okay, So the first section here goes uh, here, now here understand relation and functions so now they're telling you that for example look at this one here one ticket is one dollar six tickets is five dollars 25 tickets 20 dollars so there's a relationship here between them so a relation between having buying one ticket that cost me a dollar or if i want to buy six tickets it's going to cost me five dollars so you could see that it's not a six dollars that means because you get a discount if you buy more for example okay so that's a relationship that's what we call a relation now What's make a relation a function? And every everything is a relation, but there's like if you, especially if you do it like this in order pairs. Here you're saying, well, input if the weight is eight, okay, the cost is eight. Uh, for this is for example, let's say for delivery or for whatever, okay. Um, so the delivering, for example, an eight pound uh, will cost you eight dollars and fifty six cents, and nine pounds eight dollars and seventy. So that's a relationship, right? Now, like I said, a relation. It is always a relation, but a function has to be a unique. For example, eight has one price only. You cannot charge for an eight pound, for example, for the same for the same uh, uh, delivery, uh, re, you know, location and all that. You cannot char charge two different prices. Okay, for example, here it's an eight pound. You charge eight dollars and fifty six cents. You can charge eight dollars fifty six and uh, ten dollars and three cents. So notice that how it's going to look like. For example, here uh, you could see that there's there's an, a nine here and a nine here. Nine has two answers. That's not a, not a function. You cannot have a function with an input that has two answers. So a nine and a nine has two answers. You cannot do that. That's not a function. That's a relation, but it's not a function. Okay. Now uh, continue with this next section. Uh, now. Connecting to actual real life, so you have days and distance. So now we're, we're showing that actual real problem, real life problems. Uh, here we say we show a tank that it's it's uh, been pumping uh, water in a, in a lagoon or or, or in a, a pool here in this case. So it, it pumps, for example, uh, let's say the 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 tank has uh, uh, empty. Let's say the tank has a two thousand gallons so already. And now we need to pump out the water from the the pool to the tank, and we're doing this every in on an hourly basis. So the pump is working as a, a, a suction machine that it, it sucks like 720 gallons of water every hour. That's a relationship. That's a linear relationship. Okay, and then we'll show that there's something called nonlinear relationship. You look at this one here. That's a nonlinear because you can see that the line is not straight line. Okay, it's growing, it's going up, but it's not a straight line. So the, the slope here is not constant. So while uh, the other lines, when they are straight, that means they are constant. And uh, then here we're going to be identifying uh, which one is uh, a function by using a special idea, which is having a vertical line test, we call it. If the line crosses the, the graph twice in the same location, that means it's not a function. If it crosses it in once, that means it is a function. And that's it. So, and then we'll go from there. Okay, guys, talk to you later. Bye-bye.